So this is pork loin. It's been brined in salt and spices for 12 days. We just submerged it in dry coarse salt, uh, fennel seed, and black peppercorn. Quite a lot of each. I mean, it had to be covered completely. This is a pork loin roast, essentially. And uh, we put it in a bucket and we kept it for 12 days in the salt at room temperature. So this has cured significantly, uh, probably a liter and a half. So about a quart and a half of li liquid has come out of it. Here it is. You can see it's quite firm. It's very f remarkably firm. I mean, the liquid is out of this thing. You could probably eat it uh, at this stage, though I don't think it would have much of a shelf life at room temperature. How, however, if you hung it properly at a good, you know, I'd say uh, 45 or 50 in this state here for quite some time, uh, and again, I'm not uh, well versed in curing meats, but I do have some experience in it. Uh, I believe, though, that if you were to hang this piece after having been cured in salt for 12 days or two weeks approximately, um, you could hang this thing at a temperature of, as I said, 45 to 55 degrees for, uh, you know, three months, even longer perhaps. And you may get some sort of decay on the outside, perhaps mold on the outside. And this is typical with prosciutto and other products like this. Uh, they will get moldy on the outside, but that's not... Uh, that's not really anything to worry about. You merely cut that layer off and then uh, the, the meat is ready to be used. It can be refrigerated at that stage. But what we're going to do is we're going to smoke this meat. Um, that's why I'm tying uh, these loops into it. I basically just put a knife through and then rammed a chopstick uh, through the flesh and I'm putting some uh, loops through it because we're going to hang it in our smoker and uh, smoke it for 12 hours. Consistently the temperature is going to be about 175 to 200. A little bit cold. It's cold outside but nonetheless it's going to get exposed to a lot of smoke. So here it is. It's with our uh, turkey legs and we have some turkey drumettes. Finished after 12 hours it's hanging. And we're going to hang it for 17 days. And now you see this is the result. It's uh, quite dried out, very hard. I've cut it with a knife and I've been able to cut it very, very thinly, which uh, just to describe to you, if, if the meat were flexible, if it weren't so dry, I wouldn't be able to slice it so thinly with a, with a plain knife. It's quite salty, but it's extremely tasty. The fennel seed and the black peppercorn did penetrate it. And um, I believe that you could hold this at room temperature for quite some time. Had we not cut it, it would be uh, fine to consume uh, after months, I suspect, uh, being held at uh, cooler than room temperature, perhaps uh, 17 degrees Celsius. So I think this is a wise thing to have around or to at least have the skill to produce because should the lights go out or the price of electricity go uh, through the roof, then you have the ability to produce something like this for yourself. And it's a long-lasting protein source. I wouldn't eat it all day, every day for the nitrates and salt, but it's a uh, it's valuable skill to have. You can see it's quite hard. It's well done.